That's not how things work. It's Madison Harnish back in my blue kitchen for another video. Today's topic is about a heavy but very important subject. We all know that there's a very serious situation going on in the world. We have a pandemic that is running wild and the world is in a serious panic. My biggest issue with this entire thing is people who have decided to exploit the pandemic for their own personal gain. So today I wanted to talk about all the people who have exploited the pandemic that is currently going on. Before we get into this topic, I hope that you guys are staying safe and doing well. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoy deep dives into unethical business practices, don't get to, don't get, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And well, let's get into this video. First, of course, I have to touch on some of the MLM distributors who have been exploiting this pandemic for their own personal gain. Multi-level marketing companies have been on the forefront of this whole exploiting the pandemic situation. A lot of distributors have claimed that their product can protect you from the coronavirus or prevent the coronavirus or cure the coronavirus. And I just have to wonder, do they really believe this? Or are they also just trying to take advantage of the situation and make a quick buck? Let me read some awesome posts of different MLM distributors who've decided Decided to exploit this pandemic. Everybody is out here buying all the toilet paper and paper towels and I'm over here ordering Herbalife Best Defense Immunity Essentials so my body can hopefully shut the door on the coronavirus. If you want some vitamin C booster or some boosting of your immune system strength, shoot me a PM. I just love how Herbalife has literally gotten in trouble for not putting the right ingredients into their products or not openly talking about what ingredients they use. It's like, I would be way more sketched out to use Herbalife. I feel like that would just make anything worse if you use Herbalife. Per Dr. Wendy, using doTERRA essential oils to protect against coronavirus is done by attacking on several fronts. So in the diffuser, lemongrass and geranium, internal on guard thieves and malaleuca. Use the on guard hand wash and breathe oil on your chest regularly. Organo, oregano, oregano, oregano internally if you feel exposed or at risk. And of course, it's like, it's not just one essential oil that's gonna cure this disease. No, you have to buy all of these essential oils and then use them in so many different ways. The fact that they're trying to get people to buy this stuff, it's just very predatory. Like it's not out of legitimate concern for people or trying to help in any way. It's just to make a, a buck or else they would be giving these away for free. Like if it really cured the coronavirus, just give it out to everyone and no coronavirus. But that's not the case. People, <laughs> the virus is spreading and essential oils aren't doing anything to stop it. Protect yourself from coronavirus and influenza viruses. Do you know both diseases have similar symptoms like fever, cough, runny nose, sore throat, headache. Facts. Essential oils can help to kill and prevent the viruses and bacteria from replicating. Wait no more. We can make the difference. Prevention is always better than cure. They say facts. Essential oils can help to kill and prevent the viruses and bacteria from replicating but they provide no reason as to why. Like if you're gonna go out and that blatantly say a fact that is supposed to be about some sort of medicinal cure, cause I'm sorry, like, yeah, I know data can be hard to study that getting, you know, different scientific facts requires money to make the studies and all that kind of stuff. But if you're going to say that something cures something or prevents you from getting a very serious disease that people are very scared of right now, you have to have facts to back that up. It's just ethically and morally the right thing to do. You cannot sell something and say, this is the fact, but you provide no data, no reason as to why that's true. Like for example, we all know washing your hands regularly, wearing masks, like that's gonna help from preventing you to get the virus. That's prevention. Cleaning, being hygienic, that's all prevention. 
essential oils, there's no data on it right now that it prevents especially the coronavirus. And that's what makes me angry. Another Facebook post, mommy getaway starts now and we are safe from the coronavirus with thieves. Destination TBA, but blue water and beach is calling my name, hint, hint. Not only is she traveling and potentially exposing others to the coronavirus by traveling, the only thing she's using to protect herself is essential oils, which have no data to back that that's a real thing at all. And she's trying to sell this as if it's this cure to the coronavirus. And that's just angering. This one's lovely. Oil of oregano has been tested and proven effective against coronavirus as well. So yes, vitamin C and elderberry and vitamin D and oil of oregano. Support your immune system and you will be fine. Stop drinking soda and eating fast food and exercise and you will see massive results in a healthier immune system. From intense diseases, all you have to do is just eat healthy, exercise, and consume oil of oregano. That's all. It's so offensive to people too. Like, oh, you're, you're sick because you just ate fast food and didn't exercise enough. That's why you got sick. No. It reminds me of that one MLM distributor who literally said that she's her positive energy or something like that was why she wasn't gonna get the coronavirus. Okay, and I wanted to just take like one more second to talk about my beliefs around the coronavirus. I believe I don't even exist in the same realm as coronavirus or illness. I don't energetically even hold space for it. Um, and you guys can think that that's super woo, but truthfully, our beliefs create our reality. And I am someone where I've just, no matter what in my life has happened, I've always just chosen to take a really optimistic approach to it. And I've also very rarely gotten sick. I just, just because her energy was too positive. It was just like, that's not how things work. But also that's just offensive to people that do end up getting sick. It's like, oh, because their energy was too negative or they were too open to it energetically. And it's just like, no, it's just because they were exposed to a virus. It has nothing to do with their emotional or energetic levels. So those were some of my least favorite posts that claim that the coronavirus can be cured through MLMs and mainly essential oils. According to CNBC, the FDA sent warning letters to several companies who are selling products that claim to either cure or prevent the coronavirus with their magical products. The FDA said it was worried that these products may cause people to delay appropriate treatment or stop taking appropriate treatment altogether. Does that make sense? <laughs> While the MLM companies themselves make very vague claims about the benefits of their products, mainly saying things like, this helps boost your immune system, which is a vague statement that the FDA and FTC um, are okay with because it's so vague apparently, which is still weird to me. The real problem is with the distributors and the claims that they make. As I've said in the past, the loophole with MLM companies not being in trouble for what their distributors say is these distributors are technically independent contractors. So when these distributors say, this product will cure your virus, it's not necessarily the company's fault. And the company can say, what? We didn't tell them to say that. We didn't know they were gonna say that. That's not our fault. So of course, MLMs are unsurprisingly really Really taking advantage of the pandemic going on right now and making all of these unfounded claims but they aren't the only ones and so I really wanted to touch on some other people who are making crazy claims right now about their products and how they can cure the pandemic. Controversial televangelist Kenneth Copeland who's been criticized for his lavish lifestyle while soliciting donations while soliciting, while soliciting donations for his ministry, claimed to have healed the coronavirus via television. Put your hand on that television set. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He received your healing. Yes. I forgive. I'm healed. 
and by his stripes I am healed now. I'm not the sick trying to get healed. I'm the healed and the devil's trying to give me the flu. That's right. Or whatever else kind of thing he's trying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> healed and well. Yes. In the sweet name, in the name of, of Jesus. Glory oh, to God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, this man literally got on his show and said that he will cure your COVID-19 through the screen because that's that's how things work. Yeah. Jim Baker, who was convicted of fraud in the late 80s, was sued by his home state, Missouri, over the claims that his silver solution could eliminate coronavirus from his elder customer's immune system. This, this, um, it's coronavirus. 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 It's, God gave us this product, yes. I believe. Yes. You're saying that silver solution would be effective. Well, let's say it hasn't been tested on this strain of the coronavirus, but it's been tested on other strains yeah. of the coronavirus and has been uh, able to eliminate it within 12 hours. It has the ability to kill every pathogen it has ever been tested on. I mean, obviously we all know that the elderly are the most vulnerable in what's going on right now. And the fact that he's claiming to these elderly people who are probably very scared and worried about this pandemic that he will cure them, you know, with this product, which is a bizarre product. It's silver solution. Like what the heck is that? It's so predatory, especially on this demographic that's not only very vulnerable and very fearful right now, but also very easily scammed. It's disgusting. Of course, most importantly, we have to mention conspiracy theorist and InfoWars host Alex Jones and all of the products that he's claimed will help cure coronavirus or prevent coronavirus. I'm not gonna belabor this. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you that for just your daily life and your gums and your teeth and for regular viruses and bacteria, the patented nano silver we have, the Pentagon has come out and documented and Homeland Security and said, this stuff kills the whole SARS corona family at point blank range. Well, of course it does, it kills every virus. <laughs> but it's, they found that. And then this is a, this is 13 years ago. And the Pentagon uses, I just, I just go with the research, go with the spirit, and we always have it. Alex Jones was issued a cease and desist, desist. <laughs> Alex Jones was issued a cease and desist from New York State for all the claims that he made about his products on his InfoWars show. He has said that his toothpaste, dietary supplements, and creams could all help prevent coronavirus. Although, are we really surprised by that? Like, it just seems like something he would do. Amazon themselves have had to remove 1 million products on their site that have claimed to treat the coronavirus. All of these, in my opinion, are just blatant scams of people exploiting the fear of the pandemic and trying to sell a product. It's really the definition of a snake oil salesman. I can't even talk today. And it's really sad that people would see this mass panic going on worldwide and think, oh, this is a great opportunity to push my product and say it'll cure people's problems right now. Aside from the snake oil salesmen, there are other people who have tried to make a quick buck off of the pandemic, who haven't necessarily sold a product as a cure, but have done other unethical things. There was that one guy that bought a ton of hand sanitizer to try and resell it for profit. At the end of the day, we've got nothing to hide. Then again, hiding is hard to do when a plan to profit from a pandemic is made public. Matt Colvin bought 18,000 bottles of sanitizer after the U.S. saw the first coronavirus death. Amazon took down his listings after some were posted at $70 each. There's people who've been selling masks to make money off of, which just comes across as tone deaf to me. You know, my mom works in a nursing home and right now they're having a really big problem finding masks. There's a huge mask shortage. There are people 
that literally are wearing bandanas because they have nothing better than that to protect themselves. I've seen people using the plastic protector sheaths for their kids' homework to put in as a, as a face mask. I've seen people even wearing ski goggles, um, Halloween costumes um, that were masked to try and cover up parts of their face. And instead of these people helping out to give more masks to people, instead they're buying these masks and like doing their art on these masks and trying to sell them at a big profit. I think that they, for some reason think that they're helping this pandemic and they're like, you know, oh, masks, everyone wants them. Let me make a nice, you know, art piece on this one and sell it. But really you're just taking those masks away from all of these people that need it, like nursing homes with older citizens in them that are really vulnerable to this pandemic and now have no masks, like it's so upsetting. On top of selling a cure, MLM distributors have also tried to take advantage of this situation by trying to recruit people into their downline. I just wanna share why I am so, 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 so incredibly grateful for my MLM business right now and why I am not holding back on talking about it and helping people see the opportunity that is there. My husband lost his job today. Yep, he did. He is in what's called furlough. So he gets his job back, like when the hotel can reopen and they can get everyone back working. But for now he has lost his income. And I can tell you right now that if we were over here on one income, we would be freaking the absolute heck out. And so it's, I feel sad that this industry gets given a bad name, especially when a crisis like this happens, because yes, the people in MLMs are feeling very grateful for their business opportunity right now. They are very grateful that they get to work from home and that they don't have to risk being fired or laid off. Or if someone loses a job in their family, they still have an income, they have a plan B. I'm just so grateful for a plan B, so grateful. Like if if we didn't have my income, like we would not be able to survive, like we wouldn't be able to live here. And here are some lovely posts on that whole topic. How can you thrive in uncertain times? My name is Terry. I want to ask you, isn't it time you started an income from this thing you're on right now? And yes, that's right, social media. While businesses are closing their doors all around the world, everyone's spending more and more time on the internet. So doesn't make sense to run a business from the World Wide Web? Grammar, okay. How can I help? I help people by giving them a product to sell that helps people every single day. You know it's essential oils that they're selling. <laughs> Training on how to get that product in front of people on social media and a 24 seven system that never stops working. A coach to get you to your first 10K month. If you need a financial backup plan, this could be for you. Let's grow through the dark times together and start learning how to make income online today. The world's changing quicker than we could ever comprehend. We must evolve with it by learning new skills moving forward to survive. How can you take back control of your future? Terry James, I'm gonna leave that name in there. Terry James, good job on you. Taking advantage of people's fear and panic of being out of work to push your business. I mean, it's predatory and also it's just frustrating because the way that they're phrasing this is as if you have to change to survive. You know, the world is changing faster than you could imagine. It's perpetuating this idea that everything's going to change and these people are never gonna have a job again. I'm sure you guys will have a good way to describe what this person is doing in the comments down below. To me, I just keep thinking predatory. Schools are closing for a period of time. Subways are closing down. Companies are sending people home. Guess what never closes? The internet. If you're looking for me, I'm just over here hanging out, building my germ-free global business from home. No office, no corporate job that I have to report to to pay my bills. I have the choice to put my health first. Like, yeah, people don't have the choice to put their health first because they need to like work. Having the choice to put your health first is a privilege because first off, MLM distributors make no money. That's a statistic. That's a very clear statistic. This person sells for Arbonne. I did a video on Arbonne. 98% of people don't make money. 
So it's a privilege that you get the ability to work from home because we know you're not even making any money. Some people actually have to make money. Some people actually have to pay their bills, which is why they actually have to go into work, you know? And the fact that you are able to do something in which you're making no money means someone in your family is probably providing for you and you are privileged, my friend. There's so many people that had to go into work for a long period of time, especially food service workers. It's heartbreaking. Food service is determined a more essential need. So a lot of food stores and you know grocery stores, restaurants didn't close down as fast as other jobs did. So there was a lot of food service workers that had to work through the pandemic. And you know, food is such an easy way to transmit germs and bacteria. I mean, when I was a server and even now, I didn't have savings for one to two months, you know, of no income. I did not have the savings for that. So I needed to work. And it's such a hard position to be in. I can only imagine having to work through this pandemic, being scared out of your mind of getting it, of spreading it, and yet having no other choice because you need the money and you need that job. That's a terrible situation to be in. And this person is just kind of laughing about it and being like, haha, well, guess what? I get to work from home. <laughs> like, And then she says, be smart, wash your hands, focus on the positive and take smart measures. I'm going out in public and I feel very comfortable doing that. Okay, so you're just all around an awful person because you know, the reason why you're not supposed to go out in public isn't to get the virus yourself, but to not spread it to vulnerable people. So I'm just grateful for choices and reminded once again how blessed I am. And I'd love to share it with you. Think about the power of not having to go to a job, the choice of working from home on your laptop and computer, the freedom of choice. That is the power of Ardom, Arbon. Come hang out with me. Freedom rocks on every level. Wouldn't it be nice to work from home and be able to work from Arbon? is the same thing as wouldn't it be nice to win the lottery and have a million dollars and never have to work a day in your life again. It's like, yeah, it would be nice if that was an actual concept that actually could work, but it's not. That's not how life works. You can't just go, you know, decide to sign up for this MLM and all of a sudden have full-time income. That's not how life works, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are delusional, my friend. If you are quarantined and forced to stay home for one month to one year due to a pandemic, would you still be able to generate income? I can make sure you do. Ask me how. Oh, really, Karen? I'm just making up her name is Karen. I don't think her name is actually Karen, but oh, really, Karen? You can generate me full-time income? I would like that in writing. If you can sign a contract saying that you will be able to generate me the same amount of income that I made at my lower-end job before you know I had to stop working, then you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll join your team. But I want it in writing that you would be able to do that, Karen. So those are some disgusting posts made by MLM Hunbots trying to take advantage of this situation and say like, hey, you're out of the job, you're feeling mass panic right now, you don't know what you're gonna do to get food right now to take care of your family, join my team. Like, <laughs> it just feels so tone deaf to me. It's like the last thing on people's mind is joining an MLM company right now. They're worried about what they're gonna do next month and how they're gonna get by. And it's disgusting how these people are reacting to that. And all the while, there's this air of like arrogance as if it's like, ha ha, I told you so. See you guys that were laughing at me, refusing to join my team, saying no to my offer when I messaged you on Facebook multiple times. Well, look at me now. Now you guys can't work and I'm working from home. It's like, you're still not making any money. We all know this. You're not fooling anyone. And for those that are in desperate times right now, I can only imagine how you feel. If you do get a message like this and you're curious or you feel tempted or you're wondering if this is a legitimate opportunity, it's not. Like most of these people in MLMs, multi-level marketing companies, network marketing companies, direct selling companies, 
most of them don't make any sort of money and they're trying to tempt you at this vulnerable time but just know that this is not the right opportunity this is not the right way to go about it there are better ways more legitimate ways to be able to make money during this time and i'm just really sorry for you and what you're going through right now the world is in pain and there's not much it feels like that we can do about it but at least we can all kind of come together and possibly support one another and refuse to fall for these mlm humbot games that's really all i have to say about this particular topic i just really wanted to talk about all these unethical things going on right now it just feels like right now is such a vulnerable time and there are some very disgusting people taking advantage of that and it needed to be talked about that's what i have to say i made my piece on it now in this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you do get, definitely give a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments if i missed any sort of unethical practices going on right now exploiting this pandemic i'd love to hear about more of them and let's just spread the awareness in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching till the end of this video. If you've watched till the end, comment a little star emoji. It's my favorite emoji. And until next time, have a good one.